Now Press TV is to face an investigation by Ofcom, the broadcast regulator, following a complaint that it's breached accuracy and impartiality guidelines. The relevant part of Ofcom's code states... To ensure that news in whatever form is reported with due accuracy and presented with due impartiality. Meanwhile, some feel the remainder of Press TV's starry lineup should consider their positions. Journalists have to take a position, see whether it would be uh, a good idea and to give a station that is owned and run by uh, the government in Tehran to, uh, mm, to, to give it legitimacy. The Iranian channel, which has made a habit of recruiting British talk show hosts, now finds it has some questions to answer. Well, I'm joined now by Matthew Richardson from Press TV and by the political journalist Martin Bright, who writes a blog for The Spectator magazine and who's appeared as a commentator on Press TV. Would you appear again? I, I'd find it difficult after, after what's happened in Iran. Uh, it's not so much the coverage, which I have to say I haven't seen a lot of. Press TV is not a station that I watch very often. Uh, it's, it's more the fact that this is an organ of the Iranian state. But you knew that when you appeared on it. I did, and uh, that's why I gave my fee to uh, British Muslims for secular democracy. Do you claim that you're impartial? Yes. How can you be when you're funded by the Supreme Leader? Well, it's, it's an interesting way, the way you put it. I mean, BBC is funded by the British government, if you put it that way. The, the fact of the matter no, is, I mean, not. well, yeah, it is. I mean, firstly, let, let's, get, let's get a few things clear. I think there's been a bit of lazy journalism here. I'm actually of Press TV Limited, which is an independent company, which the article that I presume this has spurred on this kind of debate um, was referring to. Press TV International is a separate entity. Now, the point that he, you were making, I assume, um, was that you appeared on the show knowing that it was funded by the Iranian government, um, but then chose to dedicate your fee somewhere else. Now, th the point is, is that Press TV, at the moment, um, has a growing audience around the world. BBC may not like that. Maybe well, certain well, members of the British yeah, government... My question was perfectly simple. Well, what's uh, what's do you think you're impartial? Well, I answered the question. I question said yes. You said yes. I said then, how can you be impartial when you're funded by the Supreme Leader and you've got Why off on some riff assume, about numbers? Why do you assume, Jeremy, that because... You see, every well, station is funded by an, a, a, some kind of entity. The well, moment that something is funded by an entity, well, whether it's people, whether it's... Um, uh, a very rich person uh, on, in some cases, there's well, always going to be the attraction to it, be suspicious of bias. It is very difficult, of course, to know exactly what you have been broadcasting to Tehran, but we do know on your own website that there are seven days entirely missing off from the end of the election to the 20th. They're just not there. There was nothing there. What do, what do the ref mean? first reference, for example, to, you know, the woman who was, who was killed, the most dramatic image that has come out of this, Nader Akha Sultan, the first reference to that death on your website was today. Again, the website is a separate, a separate entity. I'm not, oh. response, I'm not going to be speaking on right. behalf of the website. But. Well, I mean, it's, it's hard for us to actually have a conversation if you won't talk about the website. Because well, because I'm not responsible for the website, uh, Martin. Well, you're a, spokes, you're a spokesperson oh, for Press TV. Limited. Press, TV. Press TV Limited. I mean, it's, it, <laughs> it is... It is well, difficult it's a, it's to a, look, see. Look, can, look, I think, look, in order to have a sensible d debate, gentlemen, you're going to have to get accurate right. on some instances. If Press you, TV uh, Limited is a separate <laughs> independent company of Press right. TV International. Well, if you look at the output, BBC Radio has nothing to do with BBC Television. Yeah, the only real way well, of, of judging your output is, is, the, is the material on the website that is, reflects what's on your TV station. As I left my house this evening, there was a typical Press TV report which uh, was about Zionist pressure on the Obama regime. It's one of your obsessions on the, TV, on the TV station. It's either propaganda that comes directly from the Iranian government, or it's uh, some conspiracy theory about the influence of international Zionism, or absurdly, in the case of the, the, the girl Neda who died in the demonstration, some wild conspiracy theory about how it was some sort of prearranged scenario and then in fact it had nothing to do with the Iranian state that that, that, poor, woman, that poor woman died. You, on your TV station, make no pretense whatsoever of being impartial. I mean, it would be far more honest for you to come on here and say, well, we're not impartial because we are a propaganda organ of the Iranian state. Then, then I would take you seriously. Do you do your research? 
I, sorry, I don't really... You do your research, because what it sounds like is you've read a blog and you've t simply taken some comments from people who are angry with press TV's coverage. You've read no, your I've read, website. I've read your oh, no, website no, no. and you've I've watched referred, your TV station You've this referred evening. to anti-Zionist propaganda and Iranian propaganda. Give me some examples. Well, uh, this evening on your, on your website you have a report which says that, uh, which is a report directly from uh, an Iranian uh, government spokesperson called uh, Mr. Samara Hashimi, uh, which says that Barack Obama changed his position on the Iranian election due to Zionist pressure. How about that? Okay. Let's talk uh, about you the also, you also What about the television station? And you asked him for an example. You asked him for an example. Give me an example. Well, no, give me an example on the television show. Just give me an which example. Is, which, is the, which is the prominent... That, that, came, that came directly from your TV show. Uh, it has also got uh, some direct Iranian propaganda about how the uh, Iranian government has warned all election headquarters to cease activities, pretty sinister, and that the file is closed on the election, which is, again, the official Iranian line. I, I mean, I find it absurd that you uh, come here and uh, See, imagine is, that anyone's going to take is, your position merely, seriously. You've merely, well, the, many people do take the position seriously, and the press series is a growing station. I don't think that will be stopped. But one thing that should stop is this lazy journalism. You see, you're talking it's about... Lazy, always talking, talking, about, always talking, about, talking about a television. Specific okay. Okay, okay, I'll give you an example from the, the television TV. Television Dennis Ross is a neocon pro-Israeli who will put Israel before Obama. He's a global Zionist. That was on your TV station this evening. Okay. I mean, now, it, I, mean I don't know. It's a position you can okay. hold, but it's the only position let me, you hold. Let me reiterate the point. I'm here to speak on behalf of Press TV Limited, which is the independent company in London. This is the article that was written by Martin Fletcher What's the point of this morning. Being? Well, that's up to BBC. I mean, BBC have decided that I'm good enough to be here. So I assume that it's up to their researchers. But the fact of the matter is, Press TV Limited is an independent company. We're a production company. We would work with the BBC if they paid us the right, the right fee. The fact of the matter you is, we produce... If they paid you the right fee. Well, I'm sure you would as well. But the fact of the matter is, is that Press TV Limited is separate to Press TV International. And I think it would have been better that you and the BBC would have done their research in order to bring me on. Um, what do you think should be done about Press TV then? Well, I, mean, I think they should be allowed to, to carry on uh, in, the, in the way they're carrying on and just collapse in a kind of mire of their own absurdity, really. I mean, I think that the, the, the decision that's been that's made by... The, 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 it is subjective, yes, it's my opinion. It's objective. The, the, uh, the decision by Nick Ferrari to give up doing his show on Press TV was a principal position that journalists should take. Serious journalists should not work with this TV station, All and right. then it won't be taken seriously. We'll see. Okay, thank you both very much. Uh, let's have a quick look at tomorrow morning's uh, front pages now. The Financial Times goes with the uh, decision to nationalise the East Coast main line after National Express decided they couldn't make enough money out of it. Student grants.